Hello, this is David Hale with Tech Drive TV. Welcome to episode 152 of A Day in the Life. Now, within this week, it was announced that Yahoo was broken into by uh, state-sponsored hackers, and they stole 500 million accounts. Yes, 500 million. Now, they didn't really steal the accounts. They just took all the information for the accounts, names, addresses, passwords. And now there's blog posts out there on what you can do to protect yourself against the, the hackers that took your information from Yahoo. The one thing Yahoo didn't say right away was this hacking attack happened in 2014, over two years ago. So anything you need to do to protect yourself, uh, sorry, too late. Sure, you can change your Yahoo password, and I don't recommend you don't do that. I mean, go ahead, change your password. It might help from some other hackers getting in. But the hackers that took your information on Yahoo two years ago already have done with it what they want to do with it. So I fault Yahoo for this. They've known about this for a long time and have not said anything up until this week. I mean, that's just unconscionable. They're a technical technology company. They uh, pride themselves on being a technology company, social media company. I mean, Yahoo is the homepage of millions of people, I'm sure. And yet, they don't say anything. That's that's not good. I mean, Verizon just bought Yahoo. Um, and I'm sure Verizon didn't know about this before they went into the negotiations and bought Yahoo. So I think Yahoo should have some sort of penalty. I mean, I understand when Home Depot or Target or something like that gets hacked. They're not technology companies. That's not their focus. Their focus is retail. And yes, they should have better protections, and I'm sure they do at this point. But Yahoo should always have had these protections. There's no excuse for it. And I'm sorry, but, you know, they should have told the public way sooner than this that their information was hacked and stolen. Shame on you, Yahoo. You should do a better job. Verizon, it's up to you to make sure that happens. This is David Hale with Tech Dive TV, A Day in the Life. You have a good day.